If you're a Todoist user, you can actually set up a Zapier Zap that will automatically send your to-do list items from Todoist directly into your Reflect Daily Note. That means that if I go into Todoist and create a new task, let's say record new workflow video and add that, it will trigger it within Zapier and it will appear here in my Reflect Note ready to go. Let me show you how to set this up. Let's start by going into Zapier and creating a Zap. Now it probably goes without saying that you will first need both a Zapier account and a Todoist account. Once you have those set up, go ahead and select Todoist as your trigger application. For the event, we are going to say a new incomplete task. There's a few options here. You could set up one with a new project, and I might do a video later on that where setting up a new project will actually create an entirely new note. But for today, we're just going to have the incomplete task be appended to our daily note. So we can continue. My account here is already connected. Yours, you will have to connect that for the first time. And we're going to choose a project. Now, if you have specific projects within Todoist that you want to set up this app with, you can go ahead and select those. I'm going to select inbox, which is just all of my tasks. So that if I create a new task under any project, it will go ahead and play. All right, now it's going to look for a test. So first I'm gonna go over into my app. I'm gonna delete this one from the introduction and I'm gonna put a new one here that just says test. All right, now we can go into Zapier and actually give this a test and make sure it finds that. Well, it didn't find that test one, but it did find the previous one. So I'm going to go ahead and say that's fine, because after all, this is just a test. It's just making sure that it's connected to the account correctly. So I'm going to hit continue. And now for the fun part, I can add it to reflect. So for the event, again, I am going to append it to my daily note. If you did create a zap that was project based, you might want it to create a new note. But again, I'm going to have it append to the daily note. All right, we'll click continue. I'm going to choose an account. That second account there is just a demo one. All right, now is where we get to customize it a little bit. So all I'm going to do is have the name of the task because I just want that task to appear in my notes. But there's a couple things you could do. If you wanted to, you could maybe give it a Todoist label so that you know where it came from. Maybe you want to add some more context here. Maybe you want to add the due date, but I'm pretty simple with my task, so I'm just going to keep it with the title there. For the date, I'm going to want to put it in the date where it did. Now, again, depending on the system you use, you might want to put in the due date so that it will, it will appear on the date that it's due in your note. In fact, you could actually do both, but I'm just going to put it in there for the date the task was created. List name, I'm going to leave this blank. We can go ahead and leave the transform type as list append. And for the graph ID, ignore the insertable data and just put in your own graph ID. Click continue. And now we should be good to go, but let's make sure that it does in fact work. So I'll click test the action. And it says it was sent to my daily note, so let's go over and check. Perfect. And there it is. Now, again, this had the previous task that I was in there that I had in. I didn't have my test, but let's go see if we can actually get the test to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this because that did work. And actually, I should probably give it a nice title too. Look more of these things. We will call it the Dewis. Perfect. Now let's go out and take a look and let's do a manual run on this. Now the manual run just does what it says. It triggers it manually and it will look for these tasks automatically. But if you ever want to test something, you can go ahead and just do a manual trigger. Now it didn't seem to add it there. So let's try a new one. Because I have a feeling that one might have just gotten lost in the zap setup. But since it did work with the previous one, it leads me to believe that the connection is working. So let's just do a little troubleshooting here and see if we can make it work. 
All right. There we go. So now it says triggering on one new incomplete task, and it was added. So let's go see which one I added. Test number two. There we go. So now my number two here thing made me realize another trick we can do. If we wanted to, we could go add tags in there. So let me do a little experiment here. Let's go back into the zap. And we're going to go back into the trigger. I'm going to edit it. And under the action, let's try adding a the doist tag. First, I'm going to head and create that tag in here. And now what I'm going to try and get it to do is just add this tag in front of the task. Now that way in my notes, I will know what comes from Todoist and what that I what I did directly inside. So let's go ahead and see if this works. And I might need to actually go back and add another one, but we'll just see what happens here. Oh, it did work. Perfect. That's actually pretty clean. So yeah, you can go ahead and add a Todoist tag. And then you can click on that and you can see all your tags from Todoist right within Reflect. Now, other things here, if these are in fact your tags, it will put them in, or sorry, if these are in fact your tasks, it will put them in as bullet points. So you can just highlight them, use command return, and it will turn them into tasks. And then you're pretty much good to go. So again, if you are a Todoist user, this is a great way to combine that tool with Reflect so that all of your tasks are living in one place.